Hello guys, welcome to Berean Peps. We have some breaking news. Pastor Alistair Beg has responded and I want to share this video out to you guys. Shout out to Brother Keith Bell of Verity by Verse. So be sure to subscribe to his channel. Without further ado, here's a response from Pastor Alistair Beg. In the context of the evening, I want to do what I'm not prepared to do this morning, and that is to acknowledge uh, the amazing amount of uh, traffic that there has been a noise on the internet in relationship to what I told you about uh, some months ago. And um, uh, my colleagues felt it would be good if I said something about this. So I don't want to do it now as it goes out into cyberspace, but I'm happy to do it. It's for, it's for our church family. And um, I said jokingly to somebody, you know, my, um, in making an attempt at compassion, I, uh, I ended up, you know, starting a, a massive fire. I would fully have anticipated some of the other things I've said would be far, far, you know, far more inflammatory than this. But um, we should have known that, you know, Beg wouldn't manage compassion. So let's pray. All right, so as you can see that Pastor Alistair Begg, he has acknowledged with everything that has taken place. However, this issue happened publicly. I disagree with him wanting to respond this exclusively to his, to his church only. If this issue was a private matter within his church only, oh, maybe he could do that. But now the stuff is all over the internet, which means uh, clear he has heard about it. And his uh, elders have urged him to respond about it, which is good. So I think they should make the response public because this issue is public. If he just makes this issue privately, and let's just say that he repents from this issue, how are we going to know that Alistair Begg has changed his position? Because as it stands right now, Alistair Begg is on record supporting that Christians can go to a trans wedding and then you should even uh, uh, take a gift with you, okay? That is not compassion. And with the comment that he's made, oh, he has made some controversial remarks before, people should have known that he was just trying to be compassion. Guys, whatever you want, you cannot have compassion at the expense of violating the law of God. Supporting an abomination, it's not compassion. It's unloving. You might want to call it compassion. Biblically speaking, it is not. So uh, what, what was Alistair Begg compassionate about? Is a grandmother going to a trans wedding to support that, uh, the grandson buying a gift? Are you calling that a compassion? Where does this thing stop? So now if somebody wants to go to a wedding, three people are getting married. A man is marrying four or six women, whatever you want to call it. Oh, no, just go. Why? Because it is compassion. No, it is no compassion at all. So we're going to wait and see the response that's going to come up. Either way, I'm sure, even if he does it privately with his church, sooner or later, this thing is going to come out. So continue to pray for Pastor Alistair Beck that he can retract this issue because it is a biblical issue and it is causing so much confusion. We are not judging Alistair Begg's heart. We are judging the things that he said, and we are measuring that up with the scripture. So I'm aware that there's been other people who think that, oh, you know, there's nothing wrong with what Alistair Begg has said because, quote unquote, Jesus sat down with sinners. Jesus sitting down eating with sinners is not Jesus affirming their sin. Okay. You sitting down with a sinner, having dinner, eating food, that is not a covenant. Marriage is a covenant. God has already spoken. And besides, you and I are not Jesus, okay? And Jesus, uh, Jesus never sinned. You affirming someone else in sin, it means that you are also in sin. So if you think that this issue is the same as Jesus sitting in with sinners, uh, quote-unquote meaning that Jesus is affirming sin, by uh, if you take it that to its logical conclusion, you are saying that Jesus sinned. By affirming sin. And you cannot say that because Jesus, uh, Jesus never sinned. He was, he was God. He can never sin. Okay? So we should look at this issue for what it is. Marriage is between a man and a woman, biblically speaking. Anything else outside of that, God does not recognize that. So we cannot be more compassionate, more loving than God himself. 
We cannot violate what God has instituted in the name of quote unquote compassion. You're not going to stand before God on a judgment day saying, oh, I thought going to a trans wedding was compassionate. That's why I went there. God is going to say, what did I taught you in Genesis 2? So we have to remember everything within its context. Okay. So using the, these other examples that don't make any sense. No, 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 no. Okay, so think it through and think it through, biblically speaking. In fact, even when you look at the situation uh, with Sodom and Gomorrah, okay, Jesus was not affirming Sodom and Gomorrah. That's why Sodom, there was judgment. So stay tuned, more coming this week. I'm interested to know what you guys think about this whole thing. Until next time, remember to be in the now. Thank you.